ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at the weekly chart for Microsoft. And this goes from 1995 to, let's say, about 2001. And this is a follow up from the video I did previously, which I will include in the description of the video. So that's the video right there. And this is going to be a follow up. All right. So notice how, now keep in mind, if you take this move from here to here, you're talking about more than a 900% gain throughout this process here. So you've got one, two, three, almost five years, right? Now, point here is take a look at the major lows throughout that five-year five period and you can see that the RSI basically refuses to drop below 50 even on the weekly time frame. We saw this on the monthly, but we can also see here on the weekly that this is where we find major lows throughout the late 90s on the way to recording the major top. So all these were entry levels where it held above the RSI 50 most of them came with uniform activity support and of course now something interesting also to watch here is it really doesn't start showing a major drop until we fail to move above 50 here which is those highs we fail to move above 50 which is this highs we fail to move above 50 corresponding with those highs there so clearly the market is very aware of the RSI 50 threshold. All right, let's take a look at the MACD. Now, if we take a look at the MACDs, we can see that throughout the process when Microsoft was moving higher, we can see pretty much for the most part, we would use the zero line of the MACD for major lows. So the zero line would hold Microsoft would recover throughout all this process. Double bottom here. All this, in fact, most of them are uniform action below zero back above it. Right? Now, notice what happens when we change the behavior. Here, we have rejection above zero back below it for those highs uniform activity above zero back below it for those highs uniform activity above zero back below it for those highs and if you take a look at the main MACD you'll notice that it's only after we broke down now keep in mind the main MACD really did not come to the zero line that often. That's it. And you'll notice if you connect the lows there, it is only after we break down here, which corresponds with this level here on the, RS, on the other MACD, that is when we really start dropping. So once we broke that major trend, Things change in 2000, and that is why, or that is a visual signal why this stop here was a major, major break. Because after that top, we also see a price trend line break. If you take the closing lows here. So all those things were pointing to a market that had changed its behavior from being a mega bull market going into a major bear market, which took place between 2000 and 2003. And again, this video is a follow-up from the previous video, which should be right there. The link is going to be in the description of the video and other links that correspond to what we are discussing here. EricMothethMother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings.